Hello, everybody. It's Reb Jen. How are you doing today? Well, I hope. Today, I'm going to bring up, I guess, a difficult um, topic for people. Not for me. For most people, we're going to not discuss this topic. Um, they fear it. They run away from it. They put it somewhere behind them. Don't think about it because it's too scary. And the subject is death. I'm discussing death today because yesterday I found out a friend passed away. I didn't realize how ill he was. And I got the news yesterday that he, he has passed. He was a sweetheart, a very nice person, a very generous person. And he would talk often. I mean, sometimes he would text me at two o'clock in the morning and I would have to remind him, I'm not up that early. I'm still sleeping because of the time difference. We were uh, time difference three hours apart. So I would have to remind him that. <laughs> we had a lot of good conversations, especially regarding the paranormal. He was like me, very interested in it. Very interested in the afterlife you know, reincarnation, and we would discuss these subjects. He loved the idea that I worked at the merchant house, and I was surrounded by spirits, so we would discuss that often. It's funny because the last time I heard from him, I remember him saying to me, I love you, Rev Jen, and I didn't think anything of it. Like, love you back. You know, like friends do, and, and that's it. Unfortunately, he has passed away. Which brings me to the subject of death. We don't think about it. We're afraid of it. People won't admit it. But people are afraid of dying. I used to be afraid of dying. But once you get involved dealing with spirits on a regular basis and you know how they died and you know they're, they're an energy form, you know the soul continues on no matter what, just the body that, you know, that died that falls apart, I'm okay with dying. I'm okay with it. I'm not afraid because I know I will be with my family. They're all gone. I'm the last one standing. I know they're around me. But I will be with them again. Just like my friend is with his family and his pets. But I just don't understand why people are so afraid or even discussing death. I had no problem saying, well, you know, if I die tomorrow, you know, blah, 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 blah. And my friend said, don't say that. Don't say that. And I'm saying, why not? It's going to happen. There's nothing to be afraid of. We are so attached to, the, to, to this world. No matter how many problems we go through, no how many things we go through in life, no money, no food, no health. We still want to be here. Well, people say to me, well, you know, I have children. I'm like, okay, they're going to go too. They're going to die as well. It's okay to say the word die. We always say, oh, you know, he passed away. I have no problem saying, yeah, my mother died. 
Because she did. She's around me. She visits me. So, and she's okay. So it's my father and my brother. So I don't have that thing about feeling uncomfortable. When I was a teenager, my aunt, she was my favorite aunt, Aunt Pauline, we would discuss death all the time. She would, she would tell me exactly how she was going to be buried, including the outfit she was going to wear. And I didn't find it unusual. I wasn't, you know, uncomfortable. I wasn't scared. We discuss it. The rest of the family? Mm -mm. No, 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 no. They would whisper if death was mentioned. So to me, there's nothing to be afraid of. It's just your soul leaving your body. Think about it. Sometimes when people pass away, they really don't have any body left. All the illnesses, all the things they've been through, you know, limbs missing, heart problems, diabetes, arthritis, mental anguish. You leave all that behind. Your soul is free again to do whatever it wants to do. There's no more pain. No more suffering. You can do whatever you want. Just remember, when you die, everything you're going through, it's gone. It's gone, gone, gone. You're free. Totally, totally, 100% free. No more mortgage. No more bills. Whether the medical, telephone, electricity, gas, all these things that you know we complain about. I have this bill, I have that bill. Why is this so much? Why is that so much? You free yourself from that. And that's an amazing freedom. The thing is, we're so used to having bills and complaining that we have no idea what it's like to be free from all of that. So, death is okay. Death is, um, is not a negative emotion. It's sad because you leave people behind. It's sad for us, not for the victim. The victim is fine. But because of, for us, we won't see them again. We won't talk to them again. No more hugs. No more I love yous. No more spending time together. No more holidays. And that's why we're sad. But they never forget us. They're always around us. And we have to be more open to that, to see their signs. We get so numb and so closed up. I remember when my beloved Blackjack passed away, how numb I was. He was around with me, he was with me for 14 years. Then his time came, I was numb. I would go to work and come home and cry. I wanted to see him again, to touch him again, to yell at him again, because I thought he would annoy me, part of life. But I would come home calling him. I don't feel you. I don't see you. I feel nothing. I would sit in the dark, hoping that I can feel him or see him or hear him. Sitting in the dark. My eyes, I was crying. And I heard or felt nothing. And then a medium friend of mine said to me, you're so numb. You have to let it go. It's fine. But you're so numb, you don't feel anything. 
once you stop being numb, you will feel him. You will hear him. And I said, okay. And when I let go of the numbness, I could feel him. I could hear him walking on top of the bed. I can feel him jumping on top of the bed. I could smell his poop. And that brought such comfort to me. I knew he was okay. He was with me in spirit. So I understand how when we lose somebody, it is sad. And we, and we have to grieve. You need to grieve. It's part of life. Death is part of life. And it's hard when you're grieving and the rest of the world goes on with your lives. Because I've been there. I'm like, I'm grieving and you're having a party and you're laughing. When I'm grieving and I'm hurting, it's not their fault. It's nobody's fault. It's your turn to grieve. And in time, you'll be able to feel joy again, be happy again, laugh again. It just takes time. So death is nothing to be ashamed of. Death is nothing to be afraid of. I truly believe it should be discussed much more, much more often. So we can get used to the idea. Back in the 1800s, dying was a common thing. People did not live as long as we did. Babies died often. Children died often. Young people died often. Because of diseases and illnesses and war and crime. It was part of, you know, it's, it's, it was part of their world. And now because we live so long, we sort of push, you know, death behind us. That happens to someone else. It doesn't happen to me. Tomorrow is not guaranteed at all. So if you have friends, family members, that you care about and you love, you know, say, I love you to them. Call them. How are you doing? Especially if they live alone. I tell my friends, listen, don't take me for granted. I'm getting older. I can die tomorrow because tomorrow's not promised. And I could be here today and gone tomorrow. That's reality of life. And we all have to accept that. In the meantime, let's be kind to one another. Let's tolerate each other's differences. Because that person you talk to today, you might get the news tomorrow Guess what? They passed away. And you're going to feel that sadness in your heart. Just like I feel that sadness for my friend who passed away. He was very well known in the YouTube world. Everybody knew him as DJ E. Plasm. <laughs> very generous guy. And he has passed away, which is very sad for his family. But in my heart, I know he's fine. He is just fine. All the pain he was feeling, all the things he was going through, yeah, it's all gone. And he's home with his mom and his fur baby, Jasper.
which he loved tremendously. So don't, don't be afraid of death. It's natural. And if you're so afraid, study it. I've been studying death for the past 20 years. Nothing to be afraid of. There really nothing to be afraid of. So, in memory of DJ E. Plasm. Love you, my friend. See you in the afterlife.